Hey there, this is Westbame, Hungary, European Capital of Culture 2023. I have already recorded a video here earlier this year in January and found that large parts of the town were actually like a construction site. The historical center over there, the castle district, wasn't even accessible publicly. So today I came back to this town. It's June right now and I'm gonna check what has changed in the meantime. So as I said it's June and the capital of culture year is already halfway through almost. So there is still this huge scaffolding here, but that's the backside of the castle. So, well, as long as it's not, as it's not on the front side, it should be okay. And still some construction here. So, doesn't look that great so far, but hey. This is not the tourist center. This is really on, on the backside of the castle. So who cares? A few days ago, I actually talked to somebody who seems to be involved in organizing this whole uh, event. And uh, his opinion was that it's quite okay. So he was quite satisfied with the current state of the renovation and preparation work and everything. Entering the castle district. I'm not sure who these guys are. So it looks much better than last time. Still some construction going on, but much, much better. So this is a new building and I have been told that it is a kind of a cinema. Not sure what kind of movies they will show. This seems to be a renovated part of the ancient castle wall. Other people filming here as well. And looks like you have quite a nice view over Westbrem. Interesting unrenovated building down there, you see? The historical fire tower, which still seems to be closed. Red carpet. Especially for me, I guess. I am now entering the area that has been closed when I was here in January. So you can see everything is nicely renovated. However, there is still a lot of pretty disturbing the construction work going on, or renovation work. But anyway... It's quite impressive, I would say.
So, what is this? Is it closed once again? I hope not. I really hope not, because there seems to be some, some, I don't know, festival. Okay. There is the St. Michael Cathedral over there. Might be not so interesting for you, but this is actually the place where my wife and I married a few years ago. So let's see if we can go inside St. Michael Cathedral. You might have noticed that it's all painted in white. This was not the case a few years ago. There were lots of colorful ornaments on the arches, but it seems like when they renovated the church, they uh, didn't have enough funding to get the colors correctly so currently it's painted white unfortunately unfortunately I have to say because that's really one of the things that made this place special so here we have another Bavarian Hungarian couple Gisela princess of Bavaria and the first queen of Hungary and her husband Istvan or Stephen in English who was the first king of Hungary. Wondering what that is. Can I go in here? Yes. So this seems to be some kind of museum with a nice terrace.
some historical ruins of what looks like a little chapel. So maybe this is the Gisela Chapel, which should be here somewhere around, but I'm not really sure. some organ music. Some organ music accompanied by some construction noises. So this is the, I think it's called the Trinity Monument, which is also nicely renovated. Not really sure what these soldiers are doing here. But you don't need to know everything. Nice little detail here at St. Michael's Cathedral. Look at the staircase. So this part is colored in green because I think of because of the copper which is resolved in the rainwater from the roof and coming down here. So, what is my resume? Well, it's a beautiful and impressive place here, but not only the ongoing construction work, but also the uh, preparations for the events, the concerts and so on, with stages, ambulances, police and so on are a little bit, if not quite, disturbing. So if you are mainly interested in the historical architecture of this place, maybe it would be a good idea to come here later this year or maybe even <laughs> next year. So everything will be quiet but nicely renovated. So, I think that's it from West Bremen. Okay, let me just add a final remark. So, the fact that this project looks like uh, hasn't finished, hasn't been finished in time, is not specific to West Bremen or Hungary. It is uh, something that happens with large projects all over the world no matter what kind of projects they are. Um, I think it has to do more with the way our economy works and with people overestimating themselves. So I don't think they really did a bad job. I would say that this is just how things are in our world. So, hope to see you next time. If you want to, you can of course subscribe to my channel. So, bye bye. <laughs>